honestly been a thorn in their side this entire tournament. I think they just want to take this fight. They know they're better, but at the disadvantage now is still a risk, right? It still holds so much of a risk. The only thing is their ace up their sleeve is the RPG, oh, no. but Reason gets tagged again, and that is a green light, and that is the other team, like you mentioned, the thorn on their side could be the ultimate fatal blow in the run here for first place in the Dream Hack stage. Uh, Reason and Janice are gonna do their best to survive, but you know, the lobby is hearing all the sound, and in a moment, they could turn, but Popo and Etsy looking for an opportunity, looking for a chance to kind of ruin the ride here for a brief moment, but Reason's gonna hold on strong. Wow. Not afraid to fight with eight HP. Goes right up to the box and get a huge knock, monster. He needed that. What a way to clutch up right now. And look, he is gonna be able to get the siphon here now. It's so close. 2v1 situation, both of them in one tag. One tag away from getting taken out there. He pick up the minis. Yes, they're able to split. They're gonna be able to bounce back here. A couple bandages as well. A few seconds now on the zone. Wow. I was just, I would never hey, do that play. Never, I, in, a, in, was, in a million years. I was waiting for the pros from the Joes, because- Oh, uh, okay, okay. <laughs> I worked out there, but back to it. My gosh, way to stay in the game. Way to keep it close for us here at the desk. Now, two Elim separate them from tying up the Teak and Seti. Ooh, again. So, so close up towards the top. Blackie and Clement have to do more if they want to get thrown into this conversation. And hey, look at, talk look about at where Teak and Steady are. I was just going to say, yeah. they're on the western side where all the other enemies are. Yeah. And you were talking about conversations. Hey, Nate and Analyx finally seeing some mid to end game here. So that's good to see. It's always nice so. to see big names. Oh my goodness, you're right. They pay off the early investments, the calm, cool, collectedness of knowing their game, knowing where they stand. Hey, they always say third zone, just get to center. The chances of you are pulling fourth zone are high. And they're looking really good, Monster. They're looking really good. The question is, is Janice and Reason rack up a lot of eating limbs, especially if they play low ground, which is where you find a lot of those e limbs versus the, or maybe high ground. I just find that it'll, when you be on the low ground, a lot of e limbs kind of filter to you, but this is what they're doing here. And that's against the NAE team. The NAE team could get converted to 10 points and these 10 points could catch up to Seti and Teague, like you mentioned. Here we go, monster. The raise is on and no, they hit oh, they a want rim. Them. Oh yeah, okay. they definitely want them. Let's go. Oh no, Reason can't afford to get tagged here. Actually doesn't have any shield. He has to be quick. He has to decide. Jonas is going to jump into a fight. He sees a whole mix here. Jonas loses his shield in the process. Okay, down comes Reason. He gets behind some builds here. On wood build, saving his wood material. They need it. Oh, man, they needed that so bad. It was the perfect team, too. Investing on a little bit of high ground here, trying to see if he can force any fight. They need to force the fight. They need the lobby to support them here. White tag on the player out behind. You know they're not going to give this opportunity up. Let's see, Teak on the other side, listening to all of this go down. He can obviously just see it unfold right within the earshot distance. Here it is, Hen goes down. So the pressure was good. Flowist actually steals that away. That means Aqua is solo. Two solos underneath are underneath Jonas and Reason. And what's also underneath is an opportunity to kind of catch up here. Teak and Seti, this passive route may cost them. They are no, you know, Monster, they're watching the feed for Janice and Reason. They know how close they can be. And we're not yet where placement points are being doled out yet. We're about eight placement points oh. and Aqua gets Pistole right out of this lobby. Easy peasy, Teak with another five points to buffer up. So now it's gonna take three E limbs for Janice and Reason to catch up. And as I did and said, seven duo placements away from the placement points being doled out. And we're about to get into the great half in and half out. And oh, Teak and Seti, okay, they're gonna have okay. to move a little bit, just a little bit. Let's take a look at Janice. This is, this is big. They pull this half in, big. half out, and they committed some material here to hold this already. Oh man, Whoa. the story. They, are, they might have had a disadvantage, but as luck would have it, everything can change now. Everything can change now that they have the zone on their side. They can literally play for some Elims. They can play for some knocks. Great tag there. 
fishing loot. Fish it. <laughs> oh my gosh. This doesn't happen very often. I am speechless, monster. Speechless. D's fishing for ammo. Yes, he gets it. Does he give his teammate a lot of AR? That was my only question is, there do they is. have enough AR? Can they get the beams again? They're only down by about three E-limbs right now. The rift fish are going up. Janice it's, and Reason are looking to the sky. Yes, it's actually Teak and Benji as well. And Gachetto are flying in the air. And oh no, that was a little bit scary situation. You gotta watch out for the rifters trying to get to the top of the zone. They still have some work to do, monster. They still have an opportunity to right take here. first place here. Right here, right here. There's a solo right in front of them. They could actually catch this. Only a few tags. And look, they're still so desperate. Using AR to just break open builds. Find anything possible here. Can Resilient. you believe? I, I just saying, yes. dude, can you believe? There's oh enough. my. Z Andy goes down and gets converted. But Monster, can you believe? A fishing pole could get you thousands and thousands of dollars. I am look, just. Oh, he pulls Oh minis. my. Oh my goodness, bro. There's no way right now. It looks like they might have fallen. Actually, he might have lost it. He's going to have to fish for it again. This is insane. They are trying everything in their power right now to come back. But no, Jonas opens the build a little too soon. He gets punished. He gets taken out. Up comes the bouncer play. They have to come down and the edit was bad. He gets taken out. It's Andalix. Man. Andalix and Nate, who have not been involved in any in-game throughout the day, effectively put a big-time stop. And so far, Reason is going to have to go solo here to catch up to Seti Antique Monster. Now we're going to take a look here and we get into our first rotating zone. It's going to go up to the northeast just a bit. Now that means Blackie and Clement, the third place team, has an opportunity to move up the board as much as possible. Let's see if Blackie and Clement can pull that off. Let's see who else is in this fight. On the left side, Kirachi and Putrick are in this fight. Mr. Savage and Benji are in this fight. I'm looking for our top team of Teak and Seti. Where are they? Can the they right. hold on? Okay, right they're on the X8. right. There's Teak. I see Teak alive. Seti's in front of him, still leading this rotate out. So our number one squad is still in this game, but they're split up. Anything can still happen here now. Blackie's gonna find a second Elim with Clement. They're still in it. They're starting to ramp it on up now. This is what they've been doing. Reason falls. He's out. Gonchetto actually finds him. There it is. Nice rotation. Second place is gone. The door is open for Clement and Blackie. They're just gonna have to walk through it. Either they're gonna go through it just by opening it or they're gonna kick it down. And now we're taking a look at height on the left side. Analyx and Nate, like I mentioned, haven't been in the end game, have an opportunity to kind of get some points and be a respectable finish here. Now we're seeing on their top right is Blackie and Clement, our third place team. Our bottom right is gonna be the first place team, Teak and Steady. And this is when they start ramping up. They already got one E limb going into the end game, looking for multiple E limbs here. On on the low ground, but it's Andalix and Nate who can apply the pressure from the high. But I am still looking for anyone who can kind of slow down Teak and Seti. And actually, the first and third, they're getting close. They're getting close together, monster. Yeah, Blake is gonna find another one. That's a knock right there. I think Clement's actually gonna steal it. And they're still working together. Boom, there it is. He's gonna be able to refresh now. Seti finally pops those minis. He's back in the game here. So much zone though to Clement and Teague down in his low ground. Clement and Blackie here. They're gonna have to mix up the heels here. Still a single Elim. Teak is gonna find another trade here. Doesn't convert onto anything. Still very, very close. Oh no, Teak might just find another one. Yes, one step closer to stealing the deal. One step closer to being champions. The most champions right here. And one step closer to that three-time Dream Hat Championship. Can Teak pull it off? He does have Blackie and Clement on his heels, down by 60 points. And they could rack up some Elims. It could be a possibility. But you're sucking about this whole entire time. It's the low ground that wins the championship. Oh, he's going up. And Blackie's going up for the high. He says, I'm going to try to take height away from Analyx and Nate. Exchanges go off, but Blackie is now on the wrong side of that trade. And more importantly, out of oh. mess. And maybe Blackie. out of time, down goes Blackie. Now the ride is up to Clement to kind of catch up to Teak and Seti, who are looking good and get another knock and another buffer. This may be it, Monster. They may have sealed the deal and pull away with the championship. We have to see how it ends.
No pain, no gain in these final instances. Teak and Seti fight for it. Tooth and nail all the way to the very end, showing that they deserve to be the winners today. And they're doing just that. The story continues. Can Teak find another one? Put it in the highlights. There it is. They're going to find one on Stop the Storm line. And it's going to convert again. Four eliminations already in a top three. What a way to close out today. On high ground, Steelix and Snag, they had an opportunity today, but it wasn't enough. The fight at the stronghold was too much. Robab's in between. No HP for him. Can they close this one? Should be a quick five. I can't believe the stronghold that Teak and Seti had throughout this entire day. And what could have been a day for Steelix and Snag if they were Seti able to walk will away. win this. Seti now, who has Seti so will much win. of a ride. Seti, Seti what? let's go, Seti, baby. Seti and Tink with an unbelievable finish. Four E limbs. No and without way. without a shadow of a doubt, Monster. 401 points, 160 points for eliminations. But even more impressive is the 241 points that they got through placement. Two second place finishes, two first place finishes, and then an eighth and a 40th. But my goodness, what an incredible run.